In this problem, we have the integral from negative 1 to 19 of 22y divided by y squared minus 18y minus 40 dy. Okay, so this problem is going to require partial fraction decomposition. Okay, so we are going to figure out how we can rewrite this fraction um, as two different fractions that will make this integral uh, solvable for us. So we'll come back to the integral right now. I'm just going to decompose this thing. So here's how we go about decomposing this fraction. You've got um, this on bottom, which can be factored. Okay, so two things that multiply to get 40, but add to get negative 18. So you factor that into y minus 20 and y plus 2. Okay, they multiply together to get 40. You add those two inner terms together, they give you negative 18. Okay, so when you factor it, then you can start decomposing it. And how we do that is we're going to put a over the first factor down here, y minus 20, uh, plus b over the second factor down here, which is y plus 2. Okay. Now we're going to multiply through this y minus 20 times y plus 2 um, on everything. So I'll multiply it y minus 20, y plus 2 here, which cancels out both terms. I do the same thing here, y minus 20 and y plus 2 here, which cancels out the y minus 20. And then here, y minus 20 times y plus 2 here cancels out the y plus 2. Okay, so that leaves us with 22y on the left. And on the right, we have a times y plus 2. The denominator canceled out and the y minus 20 canceled out. Plus b times y minus 20. Okay, and then... We distribute the a and the b, so I get ay plus 2y plus by minus 20b. Okay, so the trick to this is that you can set up two different equations. You'll set up an equation with all the terms that have y in them. And, uh, oh, I made a mistake here, didn't I? 2 times a, not 2 times y, excuse me. 2 times a. Okay, but you can set the 22 equal to all the terms that have y in them. So we have a 22, because that's got a y, equals the a, because that's got a y attached to it, and plus b, because that's got a y attached to it. Okay, and then your other equation is going to be all the terms that do not have y in them, so just number terms. Notice on the left, there's no terms over here that do not have y in them, so you put a 0 on the left. And on the right, we have a 2a and we have a minus 20b, okay? So we can move the b over here to the other side, so 22 minus b equals a, and then we can take that 22 minus b and plug it in place of a on this side, since that's equal to a, okay? So I'll have 0 equals 2 times 22 minus b minus 20b, okay? So that gives me... 44 minus 2b uh, minus 20b. Okay, so now I move the 44 over to the other side. It becomes negative. All three terms are negative, so you can make it positive. So 44 equals positive 2b plus 20b. I just move the 44 over and then made everything positive. Combine those, you get 44 is equal to 22b. Divide by the 22, you get b is equal to 2. Okay. Then take that 2, plug it in over here, 22 minus 2 equals a. So a is equal to 20. Okay. So we're going to use those and plug them back in place of a and b up here to get our two different fractions, which are equivalent to this one big fraction. Okay, so what you get is 20 over y minus 20 plus 2 over y plus 2 is your new set of fractions. So instead of 22y divided by, divided by all this stuff, we can now write that inside of that integral as this, 20 over y minus 20 uh, plus 2 over y plus 2. Okay, so let's do that. So... My new integral will look like this, 
20 over y minus 20 plus 2 over y plus 2, all with respect to y. Okay, let's, let's uh, split those up and factor out the, the numbers. So I get 20 times the integral of negative 1 to 19 of 1 over y minus 20. And then, that's dy. And then plus 2 times the integral from negative 1 to 19 of 1 over y plus 2 dy. Okay, so this is going to be much easier because these are just natural logarithms. Okay, so ln. So I get 20 times ln of y minus 20 integrated from negative 1 to 19. And then I get plus 2 of ln of y plus 2. And I need to put, I forgot, but I need to do this. They are your absolute values. That is going to be important. So the absolute values around these lns right here. And that's also evaluated from negative 1. 10, 19. Okay. So my next step, I will plug in the 19 and the negative 1. So I get 20 times ln, absolute value, remember this time, 19 minus 20 minus ln, absolute value of negative 1 minus 20. Okay, so that's the first one. And then plus, running out of room, so let's do it down here, 2 times ln of the absolute value, plugging in the 19, 19 plus 2, okay, and then minus ln of negative 1, absolute value of negative 1 plus 2, okay, now let's clean all this up, okay, so that gives me 20 times ln of negative 1, but that gets absolute value to be 1. So 20 ln of 1. Uh, t negative, so minus 20 ln of, this would be negative 21, but it gets absolute value, so it becomes 21. Okay. And here we get, uh, let's see, 2 times ln of 21. And then lastly, we get minus 2 times, let's see, that's negative 1 plus 2. This is an absolute value, not a 1. So negative 1 plus 2 is 1, so ln of 1. Okay, almost done. Lns of 1s are zeros. Okay, so those two terms are gone. And if you combine these two terms, you get negative 18 ln of 21. And that's it.